Hey folks, welcome back to Horsepin Ranch. We're gonna make some homemade biscuits from an old, old recipe, so stay tuned. Excited to share this recipe with you today. This recipe is an old recipe from Four Sixes Ranch down in Texas, and so uh, that ranch is still in operation today. Uh, it's called a bacon powder uh, recipe bacon powder biscuit but this is a great recipe i make buttermilk biscuits i make sourdough biscuits on my chuck wagon and i make these biscuits and these biscuits are just a good old-fashioned cookie would have probably made them on the trail because they don't take a lot of ingredients you can actually use water instead of milk if you have to and so they're very versatile so here we go we're going to start off guys with three three cups of sh of uh flour I almost said sugar you don't want no sugar three cups of sugar three cups of flour I use good flour. Don't use generic flour. Use a gold medal or a King Arthur, something like that. Okay, then we're going to use, we're going to put six, yes, six teaspoons of baking powder in here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I got to count out loud. If I don't, I'll miss. I'll miss, uh, miss it up. One teaspoon of salt. And that's about what that is right there. And we're going to do a tablespoon of sugar in there as well. Got to have a tablespoon of sugar. So we're going to mix these dry ingredients up really, really good. So I'm just going to kind of make sure they're all, all that bacon powder and salt and sugar is mixed in with the flour real well. Just like so. Okay, I'm putting in three tablespoons of bacon grease. So, three tablespoons. There's one. Okay. There is two. And there is three. You can use lard if you would like. But Cookie probably had some kind of uh, grease left over that he used. And so... So I'll say these are kind of an old school biscuit. We're going to cut this in with the, with the cutter. And so we're just going to kind of do this right here and uh, cut this fat in to our dry mixture. So you're going to have little bitty clumps of bacon drippings in there. And it's going to look something like that right there. Just little tiny clumps. You can kind of see it right there. All right. One cup of milk. One cup of milk. It's going to bear liquid in this. And we're just going to just do that right there. You can see. And now we're going to mix it up and make our dough up. Get a little flour on my... And so we're just going to kind of... Kind of fold this over to itself right here. And this is gonna be our biscuit dough. These make a really good, just home, homemade biscuit. I mean, it just, you know these, I don't have a can, or I have a frozen bag, I just make a good one. See, it's starting to kinda, of, kinda of come together there. And there's a time where you just gotta get your hands in it. And that's that time for me now. I'm gonna kind of flour my hands a little bit. Okay. And uh, we're just gonna get in here like this and we're just gonna press this in and kind of bring it around here. You're making a mess, but that's what you're supposed to do, right? All right. And you may have to add a little bit more moisture. I think we're about right though on these. Pretty good little dough ball there. It's about right. Yeah, we got one sleeping in the camp right now. But he found some dough on the ground. Grizzly doesn't miss a meal. That's Grizzly. He used to be a goat dog, but he kind of didn't really work out. So now he's just a bum. He likes to hang around and he might be a good chuck wagon dog. We're gonna flour this up. I'm using a little pastry mat. That works out real good. 
so here is our dough and we're gonna roll this out just a little bit Put a little flyer on our roller here and we're just gonna roll this out a little bit here guys you can see what's cool about these biscuits you can see the little kind of bacon drippings in there which kind of makes it awesome we'll roll this out kind of thick I don't know half an inch or so about half an inch or somewhere in there is what we're gonna do on these. These make good campfire biscuits. Um, like I said, you don't need a ton of ingredients. I have substituted the milk with water, and uh, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I have substituted the milk with buttermilk, and they make it even even better flavor. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do some Pam and his old cookie on the trail. Did not have Pam, but hey, we do. So you got to use what you can use, man. Pam it up real good. Biscuit cutters. I've got a small one I use quite a bit, but we're going to use this chili, green chili can. Works really good. Here's some more dough or grizzly. We're going to cut these right here, just like so. Boom. And just go to cutting. So we're going to take these biscuits. We're going to layer them in here like so. And we don't care if they touch a little bit. Just kind of right next to each other. Come bang your dough back up. Make another ball with it. Cut one right here. Cut one right here. So here they are, greased up, ready to roll. We're using a 12 inch shallow Dutch oven. Okay, we're gonna put some coals on it. So we're doing bread this time, so we gotta be careful. Last two dishes we've made here on the videos, we've, we've really loaded up with coals. We gotta be careful on this one. We don't wanna burn our biscuits. Get back, Bubba. Look, like you wanna eat them. I guess you gotta learn the hard way, some of us do. Back, Grizz. Okay. Right around the outer edge. These take about anywhere, I know this sounds bad, <laughs> 10 to 20 minutes, somewhere in there. Depends on your coals. Just keep an eye on them. Probably closer to about 15. All right, there you go. We're gonna check these every about five, seven minutes and uh, rotate our lid, rotate our Dutch oven, and we're gonna have some good biscuits here in just a minute. Stay tuned. Okay, we have been going about uh, probably about 12, 13 minutes. So we're rising. We're looking really good. We're getting puffy looking. Getting close to being done. We're going to rotate this lid. We're going to go ahead and rotate the oven by just picking it up and just kind of twisting it like this and setting it back down. Notice we are on a trivet. These Dutch ovens do have legs on them, but their legs are pretty short, and I don't like to be that close to the ground. So... There you go. We'll check it here in about five minutes. Should be done. Hey, guys, we're done. Here you go. Finished product. Looking real good. Notice how these rise up real pretty. That bacon powder in there. And they do a really good job. Bottom's perfect. And they just, I mean, they flake open. Look at that. So good. A step right now would be melted butter. Would, would go good on that. Melted butter would go good. And so, uh, but I'm going to try one right now. Mmm, great flavor. Real good flavor. And so these biscuits, like I said, are a uh, just a good homemade biscuit. Really good with biscuits and gravy, uh, jelly, butter, with beans in the evening. Um, we've made them, man, all, with brisket, with roast. They're just a good evening biscuit. They're a good morning biscuit. How you can have them for lunch, right? So there you go. So hey guys, let me know what you think about this recipe. Try it. It's a real simple recipe, uh, old recipe, 
and uh, great, great homemade flavor. Okay, so if your grandma made biscuits back in the day, it may taste something like that. So they're really good. Hey, thanks for watching. We're gonna actually do a uh, gravy video next, so you watch for that because it will go good on top of these. And so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching our videos. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. I've had some good feedback, and it means a lot. We we'll ask you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and let's be looking for more videos to come. Thanks. Here we go. All right. Hey folks, welcome back to Horse Spin Ranch. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Ready? One, two, three, go.